polyatomic variations. Okay, we've looked at uh, polyatomics in terms of Nick the camel ate a clam for supper in Phoenix. And this quirky little phrase um, helps us identify the polyatomic ions. Okay, and uh, please refer to the polyatomics, um, polyatomic ion chapter for additional information about Nick the camel ate a clam for supper in Phoenix. We're just going to look here at the, uh, the regular polyatomics and come up with the various uh, variations that occur when we're adding when we're adding or we're removing oxygen from the following polyatomic compounds. So let's look at the first one here. Nitrate. So here is normal nitrate. Okay. Um, NO3 with a negative one charge. But watch what happens to the naming if we decide to add an oxygen. So the oxygens change. We add an additional oxygen, but we have also a name change. And we add per. Notice the A-T-E ending remains the same. And notice also that the charge of the, this polyatomic remains the same. Now, let's remove the oxygen. If we remove the oxygen, We remove the oxygen, we're back to normal. Okay, so now we're at our original polyatomic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove an oxygen now from the original polyatomic, make it to NO2, but notice now the name change. We are adding an I-T-E ending when we remove one oxygen. When we remove one oxygen. Now, the ITE ending means that we're removing oxygen. But now, what's going to happen is we're going to remove one more oxygen. Okay. And notice now the name change. Okay. The ITE ending means that we have lost oxygens. But now this prefix hypo means that I have lost how many? I've lost two oxygens. Okay. I've lost two oxygens. So we lose an oxygen. We change the polyatomic ending to ITE. Okay. We remove another oxygen and we keep the ITE ending, but we add hypo in front of the polyatomic ion. Okay. Let's go back to the uh, home page and let's do one of the other polyatomics. Okay. So let's, uh, let's look at the next one. Camel should remind us that it's carbonate. Carbonate is Cl3, negative 2. So here we have the uh, polyatomic carbonate. We're going to remove an, we're going to add an oxygen. Okay. So it goes, jumps up to CO4. The charge remains the same, but as we said, we add per as the prefix to carbonate. Okay. Because we've added an oxygen, but now we're going to remove an oxygen. So let's remove an oxygen and we're back to the original carbonate. But now if we remove now, so we're, we're back to the, the original one. So from the original one, we're going to remove an oxygen. Okay, we move to CO2, negative 2. And notice the ITE ending. And as we said, the ITE ending tells us that we have lost oxygens. Okay, but because we don't have a prefix, it means we've only lost one. But if we lose another one, another one of these oxygens, the ITE ending remains the same, but we add a prefix to the name. And let's remove another oxygen. Okay, CO and negative two. The ITE ending remains the same, but we've added the prefix hypo at the front.
And so you pretty much uh, have an idea if we remove any of the oxygens, ITE ending, okay? Uh, if we add an oxygen, we keep these polyatomic names as is, and we add per to the unit. Let's move on. So one thing to notice is that the charges for the polyatomics do not change. We add oxygens, but the, the charge for them do not change at all. Actually, before we get to the practice questions, I just want to recap. We know that all polyatomics end in ATE. So in here, we have, let's say, carbonate. We have nitrate. We have sulfate. Okay? So we add that, and, and all the polyatomics, as we've said, of the five that we're looking at here, in terms of Nick, the camel, Ada, Clam, for Supper, and Phoenix, end in ATE. But what happens now if, and, and, and keep note that the oxygens either start as O4, okay, and O4 for sulfate, okay, and phosphate. Okay, it's O3 for nitrate, carbonate, So depending on which polyatomic ion we're looking at. Now, if we are to add an oxygen to any one of these, okay, so this count goes from O4, okay, to O5, if it's sulfate or, or phosphate, and it, or it goes to O4 if it's nitrate, carbonate, or chlorate, and we add a prefix to the original polyatomic, okay? We add uh, the prefix per to the polyatomic. Now... If we remove one oxygen, okay, from the eighth ion, meaning we've pretty much removed it from the original polyatomic, okay? So if we remove it from the original polyatomic, and the count goes from O4 down to O3, okay, we add, or we remove the ATE ending, and now it has an ITE ending. If we continue to remove another oxygen, okay, and now notice where we're removing it. We're removing it from the ITE ion, okay, and if we remove an oxygen from that, the name changes, keeps the ITE ending, of course, but we add hypo to the following. Okay, so just as we said, none of the charges change when we remove the oxygen. They do not change. 